Courtney with WinBeta, and this is the eighth video in a series on Microsoft's Android apps. Microsoft has been releasing Android apps for several years at this point, offering increased polish and utility with every update. Together, they offer a really compelling proposition. Go all in with Microsoft services and still keep your choice of platform. Today, we're looking at some odds and ends to round out the series, Groove Music and Microsoft Account. Groove Music is the new name for the Xbox Music service, which was rebranded in mid-2015. The Android app's list of features is pretty thin all in all, though it does have support for all of the basics you'd expect from a music player. The real disappointment comes in all the things that it doesn't support. While it does support things like playback from Groove Music Pass and OneDrive, actionable notifications, and caching music locally, there's no support for playing songs in device storage, and no way to control the quality of the tracks being played. The app is also pretty uninspired in its design, which is a shame because many of Microsoft's Android apps are just gorgeous. It also doesn't support the Google Cast standard, making Bluetooth the only easy way to stream music to another device. The app works well enough if you have a Groove Music Pass and also happen to own an Android phone, but if you primarily use Android, there are a number of other services available that run circles around the features of Groove Music. The Microsoft Account app has one purpose in this world, to generate two-step codes and provide authorization for account access requests. If you set up two-step authentication on your Microsoft account, this app is what you use to generate that code so that you don't need it filling up your SMS inbox. It doesn't do much, but what it does is exceptional, particularly the way Microsoft handles the code requests themselves. In most situations, rather than forcing you to type a code, the app will allow you to just accept or deny a request in real time. It can even come up in a notification. It's a feature we haven't seen in two-step implementations from most other companies, and we love it. They're both apps that we don't generally see a lot of love from Microsoft in updates, one that really needs it and one that doesn't. We hope that Microsoft will give Groove Music some TLC in the near future. It has the potential to be a fine music app if Microsoft would let it shine. Any thoughts, opinions, or requests for new videos? We've got one final video coming about Microsoft's Android apps, so let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel because we post new videos all the time, and keep an eye on our website at wimbeta.org for more Microsoft news and reviews.